साबिय साबिय सुत दिस हैव आई हर्ड ऑन वन ओकेशन द ब्लेसड वन वाज डवेलिंग एट द राजगहा इन द बैंबू ग्रोव द स्क्वेरल्स फीडिंग ग्राउंड नाउ ऑन दैट ओकेशन अ डेटी हु हैड फॉर्मर्ली बीन अ ब्लड रिलेशन ऑफ द वंडर साबिय had briefly recited a number of questions to him saying you should lead a spiritual life sabiya under the ascetic of brahmin who answers these questions for you then having learned those questions from the deity the wondrous sabiya approached the ascetic and brahmins who were leaders of the sanghas leaders of groups teachers of groups well known and famous food makers considered holy by many people that is purana kasapa makkaliya gosala ajita kesa kambali pakuda kachayana sanjaya bellatta putta and niganta nata putta he asked them those questions but they did not reply not only did they fail to reply but they displayed irritation hatred and displeasure and they have even questioned the wondrous sabiya himself then it occurred to the wondrous sabiya now these worthy ascetics and brahmins are leaders of sanghas leaders of groups teachers of groups well known and famous food makers considered holy by many people that is purana kasapa the nigantanatha putta when i asked them those questions they did not reply not only did they fail to reply but they displayed irritation hatred displeasure and even questioned me about them let me revert to the lower life and enjoy sensual pleasures then it occurred to wondrous havia now this ascetic gautama too is the leader of sangha the leader of a group the teacher of a group well known and famous a food maker considered holy by many people let me approach the ascetic gautam and ask him these questions but it then occurred to him those worthy ascetics and brahmins who are leaders of sanghas leaders of groups teachers of groups well known and famous food makers considered holy by many people are old aged mature advanced in life come to the last stage they are elders of long standing who have long gone forth that is purna kasapa makari gosala ajita kesa kambali akuda kachayana sanjay bilata putta and nigantanatha putta yet when i asked them those questions they did not reply not only did they fail to reply but they displayed irritation hatred and displeasure and even questioned me about them how then could the ascetic gautam reply to these questions when he is young in years and just newly gone forth but it then occurred to him an ascetic should not be belittled or disparaged just because he is young for even if an ascetic is young he might be powerful and mighty Let me then approach the ascetic Gautam and ask him these questions. Then the wonder Sabiya set out on tour in the direction of Rajagaha. Wandering on tour, in stages he arrived at Rajagaha, at the bamboo grove, squirrel's feeding ground, and approached the Blessed One. He exchanged greeting with the Blessed One, and when they have concluded their greetings and cordial talk. He sat down at one side and addressed the blessed one in verse. Perplexed and full of doubt, said Sabiye, I have come desiring to ask questions. Please put an end to them for me. Being asked questions by me in sequence, answer me in accordance with the Dhamma. You have come from afar, Sabiye, said the blessed one, desiring to ask questions. I'll put an end to them for you. Being asked questions by you in sequence, I will answer you in accordance with the Dhamma. 
ask me savia your questions whatever you wish in your mind for you i will put an end to each of these questions then in accord with the wondrous savia it is indeed wonderful it is astounding the other ascetics and rahman did not even give me permission but i have been given permission by ascetic gotham the pleased jubilant elated full of rapture and joy he asked the blessed one a question what has he attained the only they call a bhikkhu said sabya in what way is one gentle and how do they call one tamed how is one said to be enlightened when asked by me blessed one please answer when by the path practiced by oneself sabya said the blessed one one has attained nibbana cast over doubt abandoned non-existence and existence lived the spiritual life finished with renewed existence he is a bhikkhu equanimous towards everything mindful one who does not injure anyone in all the world an ascetic who has crossed over and salilled for whom there are no swelling he is gentle one whose faculties have been developed internally and externally in all the world having pierced through this world and the next one develop who awaits the time he is tamed having examined all mental constructs and sansara both passing away and rebirth rid of dust unblemished purified one who has attained the destruction of birth they call him enlightened then i mean delighted and rejoiced in blessed one statement being pleased jubilant elated full of rapture and joy the wondrous sabi asked the blessed one a further question what has he attained the one they call brahmin says sabia in what way is one an ascetic and how is one bathed how is one said to be a naga when asked by me blessed one please answer having expelled all type of evil sabia said the blessed one he is stainless well concentrated inwardly firm having gone beyond samsara consummate and attach such a one is called a brahmin one who is peaceful having abandoned merit and evil dustless having understood this world and the next who has transcended birth and death such a one is truthfully called an ascetic having washed away all types of evil internally and externally in all the world among devas and humans given to mental construction he does not enter upon mental constructs they call him one who is ritually based one who does not commit any crime in the world having discarded all yokes and bondages who is not tied down anywhere liberated such a one is truthfully called a naga then the wondrous sabi asked the blessed one a further question whom do the buddhas call field noble said sabi in what way is one skillful and how is one wise how is one called muni when asked by me blessed one please answer having examined all the fields sabi said the blessed one the celestial the human the proper field freed from the bondage that is the root of all fields such a one is truth for the cold of field over having examined all stores the celestial the human the brahman store freed from bondage that is the root of all stores such one truthfully said to be skillful 
having x mean both translucencies internal and external voice about purity who has transcended the dark and bright such one is truthfully said to be a pandit having known the nature of the bad and good internally and externally in all the world having escaped the tie and the net he is a muni worthy of and raised by devas and humans then the wonderful sabhya asked the blessed one a further question having attained what do they call one a vedic master said sabhya in what way is one cognizant and how is one heroic how does one get to be called a thoroughbred when asked by me blessed one please answer having examined all the vedas sabhya said the blessed one those that exist among ascetic and brahmins wandered of lust for all feelings having transcended all vedas in the vedas master having known proliferation and name and form internally and externally as a root of illness freed from bondage the root of all illness such one is truly said to be cognizant one who has abstained from all evils here having transcended the suffering of hell and a bore of energy heroic keen in striving such a one is truthfully said to be a hero one whose bones have been cut off internally and externally the root of ties freed from bondage the root of all ties such a one is truthfully called a thoroughbred then the wanderer sabhya asked the blessed one a further question having attained what do they call one a learned scholar said sabhya in what way is one noble and how well conducted how does one get to be called a wanderer when asked by me blessed one please answer having learned and directly known all phenomena in the world sabhya said the blessed one whatever there is blameworthy and blameless a conqueror rid of perplexity liberated and troubled everywhere they called him a learned scholar having cut off all influxes and attachments the wise one does not return to the bed of the womb having dispelled the threefold perception and the maya he does not enter upon mental constructs they call him a noble one one here accomplished in good types of conduct always skillful who has understood the dhamma not tied down anywhere liberated for whom there are no aversions he is well conducted whatever kamadhya is that ripens in suffering above below or across in the middle having avoided it a practitioner of full understanding one terminates hypocrisy and conceit greed and anger and name and form they call the accomplished one a wanderer then having delighted and rejoiced in blessed one's statement being pleased jubilant elated full of rapture and joy the wanderer sabhi rose from his seat arranged his upper robe over one shoulder reverentially saluted the blessed one extolled the blessed one to his face with suitable verses there are 63 approaches based on the proclamations of ascetics o you of broad wisdom based on perception and perceptual labels which having removed you went over the dark flood you have reached the end gone beyond suffering you are narahan perfectly enlightened i think you are one whose influxes are destroyed luminous intelligent abounding of wisdom and maker of suffering you led me across when you understood my perplexity you led me across doubt homage to you o muni accomplished in the ways of munihood not barren kingsman of sun 
you are gentle where previously i was full of perplexity you answered me one with vision surely you are a muni an enlightened man for you there are no hindrances and for you all status of anguish have been disappeared and cleared away you have become cool you are tamed steadfast with truth as you end ever when o naga you the naga the great hero are speaking all the devas rejoice in your teaching including both narada and pabbata homage to you thorough bred of men homage to you supreme among men in this world together with its devas you have no counterpart you are the buddha you are the teacher you are the muni you are the conqueror of mara having cut off the latent tendencies crossed over you lead this population across you have transcended the acquisitions you have sundered the influxes you are a lion without clinging you have abundant fear and dread just as lovely white lotus is not tainted by the water so too you are not tainted either by merit or by evil extend your feet o hero sabye pays homage to the teacher then the wonder sabye having prostrated himself with his head at the blessed one's feet say to the blessed one excellent bante i go for the refuge to the blessed one to the dhamma and to the sangha of bhikkhus may i bante receive the going forth under the blessed one may i receive full ordination sabye one formerly belonging to another sect who desires the going forth and full ordination in this dhamma and the discipline lives on probation for four months at the end of the four months if the bhikkhus are satisfied with him they give him the going forth and full ordination as a bhikkhu but individual differences are recognized by me if bante one formerly belonging to another sect who desires the going forth and full ordination in this dhamma and discipline lives on probation for four months and if at the end of the four months the bhikkhus being satisfied with him give him the going forth and full ordination as a bhikkhu then i will live on probation for four years at the end of four years if the bhikkhus are satisfied with me let them give me the going forth and full ordination as a bhikkhu then the wonder of sabhi of received the going forth under the blessed one he received full ordination and the venerable sabhi became one of the arahants 